Streltsy is the Russian word for shooters. And from the late 15th century, the armies of Moscow had included regular troops. Armed with an arquebus, a standard firearm in all European armies at the time. This is an arquebus. It's an early type of musket. To load it, you put a charge of black powder down the barrel. The ammunition is a lead ball. A paper wad seals the charge. Then both ball and wad are rammed home tight. To shoot the gun, priming powder is placed in the pan. The priming is lit by a match. Now, a match was originally a length of cord soaked in saltpeter so that it burns slowly but continuously, and even in poor weather. When lit, this sends a flame through a small hole at the base of the barrel, which lights the main charge. One of the great advantages of the arquebus was that the ammunition was inexpensive and easy to make. Molten lead was poured into a special mold. It cooled to a solid state in seconds, making it possible for vast quantities of lead balls to be produced. They were finished by trimming off the excess lead, which was known as a sprue. Strelsi received regular payment of both money and bread, and they lived with their families in purpose-built settlements called Slobody. Streltsy were a new type of army. Ordinary troops recruited from tradespeople and farm workers. An early arquebus had an extremely heavy barrel. To shoot it with accuracy, the gun had to be steadied, and Streltsy had a unique solution. This is a type of axe called a bardiche, and for the Streltsy, it doubled as a gun rest. Arquebus men were usually vulnerable to cavalry. Even with experience, reloading takes time. And cavalry covers ground very speedily. Once you've shot, your position becomes perilous very, very quickly. However, with the scything power of a Bardiche, a Strelsi has at least the chance to withstand a cavalry onslaught. It took a brave cavalryman to ride into a hail of bullets but an even braver one to face the horror of these axes. Over time, Moscow's armies recruited more and more men armed with guns. Inexpensive troops who changed the way war was waged.